Today I will show you some starter base ideas, and because it's fun I assorted them to biomes. These were really fun to build and come up with, so maybe comment some ideas for an adventure part 2 if you have any that I didn't feature in this video. And maybe subscribe if you don't quite hate me yet, but let's get to it. Now the first and therefore the simplest one is the tent for the tiger biome. It's really really easy actually to do in survival, it's been one of my past survival bases, it just uses spruce wood and wool. With like 4 sheep you can easily get the required amount of wool, even in early game. On the inside we really got nothing special, just a few utilities and some storage. It's nothing more than what you need really, but it's the simplest one, so yeah. Now there is uh, the option to expand the storage with some barrels behind here. But of course you can customize it and swap these out for furnaces for example. I recommend in putting in these gates because because with open bases comes the danger of creepers wandering up and destroying like half of your base and some chests too, which I would say no one has on their birthday wish list. For the exterior we got a campfire which fits really well with the tent aesthetic, a simple tiger themed path which is just cross dirt, path block and portal. And of course, because I put one in, in almost every survival base I built, a uh, fishing dock. This uses an undead campfire block, which I think fits the aesthetic of the whole fishing thing really well. It can be a bit costly in survival and it really is not fun to light yourself on fire 3000 times while building one of these. I speak from experience. I would say this whole base is fairly spruce themed, I would give this on a difficulty scale to build and survival like a 2 out of 10. So the next one is a classic, it's the hobbit hole for the forest biome, but this is not only applicable to the forest biome, it can be used in a plains biome if you find a hill big enough and also in meadows. I think it's, it's a starter house that everyone has built sometime in varying degrees of complexity. But here we use a block palette of oak variants, cobblestone and then a little bit of birch here on the bottom. In the exterior we also have a tree to go with it, it's just a more complex version of an oak tree. And then if we go ahead inside we see this interior. On the left here we have the bed, corner, barrels, stuff like that. And then here the enchanting setup and I've actually made sure that this one works works as well so you are able to get to 30 levels with just this amount of space. The brewing stuff which I crammed into the corner there and you may have noticed there's a lot of plants in here, vines on the walls. I will say vines on the walls always sounds like a good idea until you have to deal with the fact that they'll grow over your head and to your whole base. And we have a lot of potted plants around the place. Now back here, we also have the storage corner. Never a base without storage. And like a seating area, just for aesthetic purposes. And then down here, you may have seen it. This hole is actually the mining entrance. And also we have some smelting down here, which didn't fit up there. Yeah, and this is not too complicated actually to build. So I'd actually rate this like a 4 out of 10. Very basic and very very easy to do and you have many possibilities to go creative with this, this one, which is why I like it so much. A mountainside house for literally any mountain biome. It even works in ravines and cave entrances like this for example as well. Now this can be a little bit trickier to build in survival because we have to build over open space. But if you're careful enough not to build in too great heights you shouldn't die from it. But Maybe you will die from it. Yeah, this build is at your own risk. Now this uses a lot of spruce wood, because spruce is my favorite wood, did you guess it? <laughs> and uses some amethyst. I really like the concept of like having a simple house and then having like a special block for the roof. This is a combination of white concrete, polished diorite, calcite and normal diorite. And this is kind of... <laughs> This isn't accessible really, but if you're in survival you can easily like make a hole here and build a ladder up to it. Or if you have Lytra and you can even fly and uh, fly out. We have a lot of spruce in here as well. The floor is stripped spruce, we have a lot of storage if you can see there. There's some bridles on the floor which kind of adds to the storage. And we have a fully functional enchanting setup actually here. And we kind of carried the amethyst theme from outside with these amethyst clusters and 
some amethyst in the floor inside and some furnaces it's actually like a small mining trance around here where you, you can like build a ladder and we have some moss and greenery in here too which is kind of like a mountain nature thing on a scale of 1 to 10 i would maybe give it a 5 or a 6 depending on the height where you build it it's fairly customizable in its um colors and shape maybe you want to be a pirate and set out to sea to explore the great oceans well in theory but uh, we can always imagine now how you get in would be actually to swim from the shore and then climb up this ladder at the side of the boat you'll find a campfire and some decorations from some barrels and chests and this is like really like my block pile it's like stone brick and sprue is like i'm on board to sign me up and we have this upstairs area and the actual like inside of the base follow in here it's just a little room and some piratey decorations we have our base with furnaces chests search back there and actually right here on the floor because the barrel texture really looks nice and blends in nice with the spruce it's of course trickier to build in survival because you have to put it underwater then you have to get the water out which is kind of tricky if you don't have sponges and even then it's sometimes really stressful and not nice if you want to kind of have like a challenge and really go all out you can make it as detailed as this or smaller size or like even a bigger size if you want to make a mega base out of it like building it itself and creative it's not that hard but i i made the rating that high which is by the way 7 out of 10 because it is so tricky to build underwater and in the water and around water and anything with, with water and if all else fails and everything is too boring for you you could devote resources and hours of your life into making a mushroom for the white part i use calcite smooth quartz bone block and i think yeah white concrete too white stained glass which just helps with like another dimension and making it i don't know have more layers and then the red part is parts of red mushroom block red concrete um red concrete powder in parts and red wool now actually if you go in here you'll notice this is just the entrance which leads down into the wall is already transforming into another block pellet which is by the way coarse dirt root dirt brick stone brick and mossy and, and none um and moss the actual base itself with which is the mushroom cave you may have seen it from outside you may have not that this is actually already existed which i just added the glass to and expanded the cave inside we also have an enchanting set up here and some storage right here and this is the smelting area with some mini smelters some normal fur furnaces i just had the urge to say furni there i don't think that's the correct plural of furnace I think it's furnaces and it, this actually does have a mining entrance to a cave that already existed before i built this i really like this but it is complicated so in terms of starter base i would give it like a 9 out of 10 in difficulty and in complexity now you think maybe this is the last one but it actually is not because i have a small surprise because we have a number six which is the 1.20 trails and trails cherry grove cottage i basically took it as a challenge to incorporate the new materials into a starter house um i added a custom cherry tree incorporated some glass there's some concrete powder and i hung some beehives because it's fun yes the bees do get annoying a bit if you stand here too long so the cottage itself has as a block pellet the wood um there's some strip blocks incorporated right here on this side if we go up here we'll see that the roof is covered in moss and if we head inside we'll be here and this is all very pink usually i don't build with very um light colors i'm like someone who builds with spruce and dark oak and deep slate and stuff and the new chisel bookshelves the torch flower and if we head to this room and this kitchen area which is like really all you need and up here is actually the bed and window you can look out of it's really really small and cramped but i think that's what the flair of a cottage really is so basically i would give this just on difficulty level a 6 out of 10 but this doesn't really fall in line with the other ones because this is a regular little house and the special thing about it is just that it's built with the new blocks thanks for watching everyone and if you like what i do like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye